This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one source for games and gaming accessories, and by GatheringMagic.com, the number one source for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi there, it's Kevin with Rogue Deck Builder and GatheringMagic.com. Here with another episode with the Rogue Deck Builder. We're going to stick to rug colors this week as I'm in love with this color combination. Uh, this one is not going to be an unexpected results list. It's going to be an actual rug planeswalker list. And this idea started by an email from a fan named John Fritz as he wanted to do an illusionist bracers deck with like Cure's follower and uh, Mercurial Chemister. And al although I do absolutely love the idea, uh, as I was brewing the, the deck and actually playing around with it, I, I found the Illusionist Bracers were a little bit weak in the deck. Uh, the best thing to actually, I, I found myself putting it on like a Sylvan Carotid and a something like that. And it just wasn't that great with the amount of targets. I wish we had more targets in standard that actually have decent tap abilities like the Mercurial Chemister. I mean, definitely that's who you'd want to put it on. But with the amount of planeswalkers, I just thought the Illusionist Bracers was was too uh, irrelevant in this in this deck. But what we did come up with is an awesome rug planeswalker deck that's been testing very well. Uh, just going down a little the the deck list here, uh, we have the in our one drops we have just an Elvish Mystic because what we we are going to try to go like a, a one two strategy into a five drop on turn number three so either a four drop or a five drop on turn number three and we do that by elvish mystics cures followers and sylvan caratids uh the reason why cures follower gets the nod over the uh, the satyr voyaging satyr is it can actually untap the chemister to draw additional cards so very very cool interaction there of course we've got our three drops here that we can go in elvish mystic into our three drops in domri we do have 27 creatures so domri is going to hit a lot of the time and then Corsair Crew Fix Domri combo with the Skylands, which is very, very powerful. So we have the good stuff out of the Monsters deck. We have the Storm of Dragons, the Plukronoses, but adding the Prophets and Merkle Chemisters. Merkle Chemister ser serves two purposes. He can actually be a, quite a decent control card, can kill anything with five or, five or less toughness, as we could we can easily be discarding a five power creature. But a lot of times what you're going to be doing if you need chemistry to take out like annoying targets is you're going to be chucking like a, a, a an unwanted, again, an unwanted planeswalker, unwanted uh, Stormbird Dragon or whatnot. But usually what we're going to be using this for is a two two cards. And with a Prophet of Crufix, you can actually use that twice. So one of the, the best things is a Prophet of Crufix and then flash this guy in and you actually have an, a mana untapped. And and uh, so you can flash this guy in at, at their end step. And if you have like a Zen, it goes out, you can actually activate it then. If not, you wait till your next turn and you can activate it and you immediately draw two cards and get some advantage out of the Miracle Chemister. We're using an Imezit Draco Genius in this because why not? I mean, uh, I, I guess Illusionist Bracers is actually really good with, with Nimezit Draco Genius. But again, I just didn't feel like Illusionist Bracers had, had enough room in this in in this deck so as far as the why it's called rug walkers we have a one of chander pyromaster her negative seven isn't that good I, i'm testing her out to see if she actually is worth it uh excellent the top card of my library seems very very good um to draw a card per turn and w with cure the crashing wave ral zarek xanagos you're getting this a lot of advantage through these planeswalkers so that's the idea is to hit one of these planeswalkers again we're gonna f we're gonna test which one actually works the best and then we'll we will put the the number of Planeswalkers, according to which one is the best one. I mean, I right now I've I've got like Rook in the sideboard, another Cure, and another Ral Zarek. I'm liking Ral Zarek because he does have some synergy with Mercurial Chemister, but unfortunately that's about that's that's about all he's got uh, synergy with which with the tap untap. Uh, he does have synergy with the one of Night Those Shrine and Nyx as well, as we can generate a pretty decent amount of mana. Again, our, it's gonna be our devotion to green that's gonna be the highest, but if we have like two of these guys out, we get a net plus out of the Nyctos Shrine and Nyx, and therefore I do believe that it is worth it to include at least one of in, in the deck. Now sideboard I'm running a one of Cyclonic Rift. Just is mono blue, mono black pack rats, uh, and occasionally other like Elspeth type decks. Returning everything is as per back to their hand seems pretty good. Uh, we have Museum Mortars against the heavy creature based decks, uh, and against like monsters, this is really good because it does take out the Corsair of Crufix. And then we have Mr. Cutter Hydras against mono blue and Esper. Seems like a very good mana dump. And then we again we have we have one of each of these planeswalkers. I don't know how well Garuk is going to work in this deck. Might not be the greatest. 
Uh, and then we have Nylea's Disciple against the Boros Burn because Boros Burn is everywhere. It's like every other deck on MTGO is a Boros Burn, and I'm sick of losing to it. So uh, Nylea's Disciple and Scavenging Ooze are going to come in against that matchup. We also have Scavenging Ooze against the BG Dredge list. That seems to be everywhere as well, which is sad because I really want to play my Jun Dredge, but I think it's going to start being hated out as all they need is like a one of Scavenging Ooze or a Crypt Incursion or a Rakdos Charm or Rest in Peace, and the deck is completely shut down. So anyway, that is the deck list. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it does well. This has been Kevin with Gathering Magic and RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.